Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to talk about the derivative using the chain rule. So, in order to talk about the chain rule, we need to talk about the composition of functions. So, composition of functions is when one function is inside the other. Like, for example, h of x, defined here in the paper. It's f composed with g. In other words, g of x is inside the function f of x. To take the derivative, we have a formula over here, and I'm going to say this the following way. The derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside. So I want to treat f of x as the outside. And g of x, I want to treat this as the inside. So here's an example. h of x equals sine of x squared. Every time you hear the word of, think of inside, the thing that follows the word of, sine of x squared. So the outside function here, the f function, is sine of x. And the inside function, g of x, is x squared. So I need to compute some of these. So to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is compute f prime of x. And the derivative of sine, if you remember, is cosine of x. And then the derivative of x squared, using the power rule, is 2x. So what does all this mean? It says f prime of g of x. It does not say f prime of x. So what is f prime of g of x? Well, it, I know f prime of x is cosine of x. So this is going to be cosine of g of x, which looks like cosine of x squared times g prime of x. So when all said and done, I'm looking at h prime of x is f prime of g of x, that's this piece, cosine of x squared, multiplied by g prime of x, which is 2x. So let's have a small recap here. When I first said this, when I take a derivative, Take a derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So when I'm looking at this sign, this is the outside. And this, x squared, this is what I'm considering the inside. So let's go over this again. Take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone. That's exactly what this is times the derivative of the inside. So this right here, this is the derivative of sine of x squared. So that's just one example of the chain rule. Let's try another one. So suppose I have a function that looks like this. And I want to find the derivative of it. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what the outside is. So what does the outside look like here? And with a little bit of practice, you're going to be able to see this very, very quickly. The outside, which I normally call f of x, this is the square root of something. And the inside which I normally call g of x, this is x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now, I need to figure out f prime of x. Well, this looks like 1 over 2 root x. I'm using the power rule. I skipped a step here, but that's essentially what it looks like. I need to know what g prime of x is. Well, I'm going to use the power rule, the sum rule, and the constant multiplier rule here. I get 2x plus 3. But remember in my formula, 
I don't just need f prime of x, I need f prime of g of x. So this is going to look like 1 over 2 root, and now I'm going to put in g of x. x squared plus 3x plus 1. So let's put this all together. I need this piece times that piece. So h prime of x, I'm going to drop it down here because it's going to be a little bit lengthy. It's going to be 1 over 2 root x squared plus 3x plus 1, I'm copying this, times g prime of x, which is 2x plus 3. Now, the way I have it written is actually incorrect. Be really careful about this. Make sure that you put your parentheses there. That's very, very important. So another small recap. The square root of, hear that word of again? x squared plus 3x plus 1. So I know the square root is my outside function, and the thing that follows the of is the inside. So I'm decomposing this problem. I'm first figuring out the derivative of the outside, and I'm going to leave the inside alone. That's this piece. Then I need to multiply this by the derivative of the inside, which, well, that's a pretty simple problem at this point. So there are two examples of using the chain rule. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.